Hey everyone, Shaper1000 here. Today we're going to try this, and I forget how to pronounce it again. Here, this. <laughs> okay, we're going to try this soup. I've tried uh, these in the past, but I'm sure I haven't done this one. This is uh, chicken flavor, just uh, ramen noodle soup. I'll show you the nutrition facts here. If you want to pause and read them, I think you can read them. So, did I do an intro? I did not. That's all right. This is easy. I'll read the instructions for you. There's microwave instructions. We're going to be cooking it. I got water getting ready to boil over here now. Uh, microwave instructions, you open it halfway, add room temperature water to the inside fill line, place in center of microwave, microwave for two to three minutes, stir well and enjoy. Cooking times vary, <coughs> excuse me, cooking times vary with microwave wattage. Um, but we're going to, we're going to do the boiling water directions. Um, Open lid halfway, add boiling water to inside fill line, close lid, and let stand for three minutes, stir and enjoy. That's that's pretty simple, okay? But the problem here is this. It's got a hole in it. <laughs> Monkey punctured that. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my sriracha bowl here. And we'll... Uh, We'll go ahead and get the water in here. It's just about ready to boil, and I'll turn you back on. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> um, now, <laughs> what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to pour. I'm going to have to pour my water into this up to the fill line so I know i got the right amount of water. It's just a little over halfway. There's a line right there. See that line going around there? Okay. Um, you can actually see it on the outside too. So what I'm going to do, hopefully I don't burn myself. So I'm going to go ahead we'll fill this up to the line. Then I'm going to dump it into my bowl and I'll cover my bowl up. See it's leaking. Okay. So there's the line. And this is hot. Now, okay. And I forgot a fork. It doesn't really cover the noodles so I'm gonna to have to get them kind of down there a little bit like that wow that smells good I'm pretty sure I haven't had this one I, I've had this brand before but I don't think I've had this if I had them if I have them sorry but so also guys stay tuned for tomorrow which is Wednesday walk Wednesday we are going to be making Teriyaki chicken in the wok. A real simple recipe I got off of uh, off of YouTube. Okay, so all right, let's let this set for I think it said three minutes. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna let this set for three minutes, and then we're gonna try it out. Okay, so wait a minute here. I was just reading this. It says hot picante, and of course it says. Uh, zero milligrams of cholesterol but it also says vegetarian um, but it, it's chicken flavor it says with natural and artificial flavors um, can someone explain that to me maybe just the chicken flavor but if you're vegetarian why would you I I don't know. Okay, it's time, I think. Um, let's see here. I didn't set a timer, so it should 
Should have been three minutes because I sent him dicking around while we were waiting. So there's what it looks like. Again, tomorrow, Walk Wednesday, will be teriyaki chicken. And you don't need a wok for this recipe. But I'm going to use one because, well, wok. I have a wok, I'm going to use it. But you can just use it. You can um, just make the recipe I'm going to make tomorrow. You can make it in um, uh, just regular skillet. It'll be real easy. All you do is make a sauce. You'll see. So anyway, I made Monkey her Valentine's dinner in the walk yesterday. Um, I made a uh, a beef with noodles recipe, which I'm probably I'm probably going to go ahead and stir stir fry up some noodles tomorrow too, but. Um, and I just used some beef tips. Man, it turned out phenomenal. I love my walk, guys. Okay, well, all right. So, let's go ahead and let's give this a shot. Um, Dean Moo. Go check him out, guys. Uh, messaged me, sent me a picture one day that he was watching some of my videos and it got him into these... Uh, these spicy noodles so he showed me some and I uh, had monkey get get me some because <laughs> she was just having to be on her way to the store to get to get some stuff and I was like hey while you're there see if they got these and they did so I got a couple more of these I still got a lot of the other soups that Martin and Brian sent me so stay tuned for more of those so let's give it a shot I still I can't tap a teal to pack to you. <laughs> Let's go out on the patio. I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Okay. Um. It's good. Little tiny bit of spice. Um. Not hot by any means, um, but the flavor is excellent. This is very good. I will give this one a two thumbs up. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll give it a three and a half out of five stars because the flavor is really good. I do like the noodles. They're not just your typical, you know, like ramen. They're a little thinner. The noodles are good. The flavor's good. Um, like I said, there's a little spice in here, but even if you don't like spice, if you can't handle it, I think you'd be all right with this. But, you know, you know your limits. I don't. Um, to me, there's not a lot of spice in here, but it does have a good flavor. So, yeah, two thumbs up. Three and a half star. And I've got a great lunch. It's easy. You know, let, let's change that. Let's go to four and a half, uh, Let's go to four star because ease of act. You can make it microwave, or you can just add water like we did. Um, a lot of times, stuff like this to me doesn't seem much quicker when I've got you know one of these sitting right here. I mean, really, how fast do you really need to make a? thing of soup you know I mean if I do it in the microwave I can do it in three minutes total if I do it on stove that's going to take four minutes what's that extra minute <laughs> I mean you know <laughs> see if uh, you, you know that extra minute you, you can just get on your little mobile device there or whatever and, and uh, See if I got anything new up or see if there's anything you haven't seen yet. So anyway, guys, yes, I'm plugging my own channel. What an ass, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hope your week's going great. Hope you had a great uh, Valentine's Day. 
And we'll see you in the next one. Shea Bear, the man, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Don't forget to check out D-Moo and Monkey1000. We'll see you soon.